All right, so hello guys. So, so far I've worked on one capers video. Um, it looks like the 30 minute video chain has been broken. Don't know if, if that's because she saw my invoice saying that I was gonna start doing time cap soon or what, but that's a thing. I am um, more aggressively looking into jobs and um, uh, that mostly, sp I mean, I, I was always kind of trying to do more video jobs, but it sprung forward a little bit more hardcore when um, my manager said I should be appreciative of the job. I think in general, the company should be appreciative of their employees, but so I did find one uh, reoccurring job. Um, I did the, I did a phone call interview and that seemed to go pretty well. Um, I'm supposed to get with the committee in five days from now, so we'll see how that goes. I have a good feeling. Um, it's a really, really small job, but it's consistent work. It, I have a feeling it's going to be closer to five hours a week because I can't, I don't think I'm going to be able to do Saturday and Sunday, but I should be able to hopefully do Sunday. Um, I tried to bring that information forward to work and that didn't work out too well because when I do client work, I like to have the day off, so I requested Sunday off. Uh, if you're wondering, it's a, it's a church job. It's a live broadcasting for a church. Um, but they had put on their job offer was $18 an hour. But once I talked to him on the phone and he got to know me, he said it's quite possible that that will actually rise because I have more experience than he was, I, I guess they were expecting to, to get from the job offer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say 20 an hour or up. Um, so if it was 10 hours um, for Sunday, you know, um, $20 an hour, uh, bi-weekly, I'm doing bi-weekly because that's, you know, normal pay period, that's $200 right there. Um, then I have my, my, my uh, client in uh, New Harmony. That's roughly 2.30. So right there, that's enough for me to, to live off of. I could, if I really want to, completely leave, uh, leave CBS. And this is where the argument really comes in. Um, when I brought it to the assistant manager, She's like, if everyone could have weekends off, they would. And I brought it to the manager. Um, she said a more polite version of, you realize you're working a retail job, so it's kind of an obligation to work weekends and holidays. And my argument to that is, isn't that better than quitting? I mean, I'm not trying to wave my job in front of your face, but You've lost a lot of good employees, and we keep on losing even our bad employees. I mean, again, I'm not trying to be that person, but it'd be nice to show a little bit of gratitude for me not just up and quitting or trying to be more aggressive and getting Saturday and Sunday because that was actually like the other hours I was going to get other than holidays, is Saturday and Sunday. But I'm really, really trying to work with CPS and work with my video job. Like I said, during June, I plan on going part-time. I'm really, really trying to stick to the guns on that. Um, but the more, the more tension I get on the CPS side, the harder that is. JC, honestly, is so close to just, I mean, she has said uh, that I basically, uh, maybe not right now, but could quit. Um, She's basically said that, yeah. And again, I'm not trying to do that. But yeah, um, I got that. And then uh, during June, I'm supposed to start doing that documentary job, which is supposed to be 100 per uh, video plus mileage. Um, she seems really bombastic, so I'm expecting at least one video per week. She's doing a YouTube channel. So that, again, is another 200. So with all my jobs, if I did all the jobs on a regular basis, That'd be like 630. Again, doing pretty well for myself. Don't really need the CBS job. 
honestly, I want to get to a point where I'm just asked for help because I really like helping because I feel more appreciative when I'm being asked to help instead of being scheduled to help. It's one of the reasons why I like pharmacy because they're always appreciative because they're always, <sighs> they understand better, I feel like, than front store, or at least my front store. Um, but other than that, <clears throat> I, I got that job on Indeed.com, so I've been uh, applying to <clears throat> several different video jobs on Indeed. Um, a good chunk of them <clears throat> require a bachelor's degree, which I only got associates, so that's kind of sucky. Try to do a bunch of job uh, stuff on. It's either Upwork or Freelancer. I think it's Upwork, but I'm not getting really any uh, replies on those. There was an interesting one for OnlyFans, and um, lots of YouTube ones, which I feel like I've gotten a pretty decent ex amount of experience working with YouTube channels at this point. I mean, there's only one like one active YouTube channel right now, and that's Family and Fit, which that fell off. But the Capers, which I'm still working with, they're supposed to start uploading their uh, marketable commercial material, uh, hopefully on a weekly basis. And then I'm about to do this uh, documentary thing with this photographer, which is going to upload it weekly on YouTube, and then eventually, at the very end, I guess, make it into a documentary. Big complicated process. But, yeah, that's the, the, the situation right now. So, yeah, um, we'll just see what's changed uh, next week, I guess. Sorry for uh, uploading this uh, so last minute. Um, I'm not going to tell you that the next video isn't going to be very last minute, too. I, uh, I'm really busy, and I'm finding a lack of material to film, but um, regardless, thank you for watching, uh, and I will see you on the flip side. <laughs>